Save with Judy and welcome to Monday Minis. Before we get started, I've got some happy mail to show you, and I also want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for all my returning subscribers, and I have so many that are such loyal subscribers and they watch all my videos every day, and I appreciate you so much. For you newer subscribers, I appreciate you subscribing, and I hope that you'll decide to stick with me and that you'll join me every day too. I have a little bit of happy mail here, uh, one that was a surprise and one that wasn't. These cute, cute pins were sent to me from Denise Meyerhoff. She has become such a good friend on my channel, and I just love her to death. And I got these yesterday. Let me see if I can get this one out. It's crinkly. I hope it's not too loud. But isn't this cute? It's a cow, and I just love it. I just love it. And I will be using these here at my desk. And then this one is a cute little flower. And they're like, they're kind of like a silicone, I guess, is what they are. But the pins write so well, too. <clears throat> they, yeah, there it is. But they write so good, too. And I just love them. And I appreciate you, Denise. I appreciate, appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you watching my videos every day and you have become such a wonderful friend and I just can't thank you enough. It's such a surprise when I get something like this in the mail from you guys. Thank you. And then this is something that I ordered <clears throat> from um, Budgeting by Dina US. I just love her stuff and I saw this little scratcher and I just had to have it and I'll tell you why. get it out okay this is the one I purchased and it's uh, two little ducks hugging and I just thought you know Dina and I have become such good friends on YouTube and she has such a wonderful channel and when I saw that I thought I've got to have that as a little symbolism of the friends that we have become and so I just love it and then on the back is another one this on the back is $75, so these will be higher numbers. This one, she just sent me because I did not order it. See, that's what I'm telling you, is what a good friend she is. And this one is a total of $45, and that cute little cow on the moon. And this one, I just love. He's reading a book, and this one is $80. So there's two here that are lower amounts, and then two that are higher amounts. And we will eventually do them all. Okay, and let's see, she's put a couple stickers in here. This one says, let all that you do be done in love, and I so agree with that. And this one says, Oahu. I have never been to Hawaii. I would love to go. I asked my husband one day, a couple months ago, I said, uh, Guy, if there's some place in the U.S. outside of the U.S. that you would love to go, <clears throat> where would it be? He said, Hawaii. I said, Guy, Hawaii is the, in the U.S. <laughs> but anyway, and she also sent me an IOU. Maybe someday we'll get there. <clears throat> okay, well, we'll go ahead and get started, and we'll count our money. <clears throat> get my throat clear here. Maybe take a drink of my coffee. <clears throat> when I do videos early in the morning, that's the way it is. And uh, let's go ahead and get our money counted. And what am I cooking today? I am making chicken with dressing that has like the chicken gravy on top of it. And we're doing some mashed potatoes and green beans. And I'm having some, just putting some of those um, Sister Schubert's Parker House rolls in the oven. And I may make a dessert. I'm not real sure. If I make a dessert, it might be those uh, chocolate chip magic bars. We'll see. Okay, we've got 5, 10, 15. This is a lot of ones, you guys. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, oops, 32, 33, 34, 
35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83 dollars today. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I really have it going this morning. Okay, we're going to start with our rainy day and sunny day. And we did have three rainy days this week. Let me get my blue pen out. We will color. This kind of doesn't make any sense. But I will color this one in. It's the wrong pen. Some of these pens will not color on lamination. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and color it in just to show you that it's complete. And that one's complete. That's one dollar. Now... I'm going to erase it and start over because I finished that one and that should be, we'll see, I think, I don't remember if it's 40 or 48. I think my old card that I was using had 48, but I'm thinking this one's 40. Get a clean side here. Okay, and that's what I love about these. You can just race them and start over. Okay, so it was, we had three days. We did one. There's my dollar for that. Now we're going to color in two more and start over. Oh, okay, I colored in three. Let's get rid of one of those. Okay. Okay, there's here's my two dollars for the new one. Okay, let's take out our rainy day money that we had and add this one dollar to it. That was for still for April. Or I'm sorry, I'm getting it confused with my no spin. Okay, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 dollars. And we are going to put this 40 dollars into our emergency fund. It's called rainy day fund and emergency is a rainy day fund, isn't it? So now that's 40, we know. So we have 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52 in our emergency fund. Okay, and I need to condense those ones down for sure. Okay, and then we will put this $2 in here because we are starting our rainy day fund all over again. And the next 40 will also go into emergency, or we might find a place different for it. I don't know. I like to put the rainy day fund into something that's more serious for things like that. And the sun, sunny Sunday mon money, we are going to use it for something fun. And we did have one sunny day. I mean, a sunny Sunday. Not one sunny day. We had a sunny Sunday this week. So we are going to color in another sun. And put in another five dollars. So let's see what we have now in Sunny Sunday. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 dollars in Sunny Sunday. Great, great, great. Okay. 
When I get Sunny Sunday finished, this will be uh, $200 because each row is $50. No, let me see. Yeah, $50. So that'd be $200. <clears throat> so I think, God, I might use that for something fun when the time comes. <clears throat> okay, exercise. I, we only went swimming one day last week instead of two. So I'll put in a dollar for exercise. <clears throat> okay, so now we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars in here. And when I finish this one, I'm going to do something fun for myself. <laughs> okay. And no spend. We've got a split went split month here. So let's get this out. We had no spend on the 30th. Okay. Color in the money. Okay, and we're putting a dollar in. So now we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. And this was for the month of April. So what we're going to do with it, this is my 24 envelope challenge, and I'm going to split the money between. Let's see, guys, it's at 18. Let's see, is the 18 available? No, it's not. So let's put 17 of it into our 17 slot. And we're going to put the other dollar up here in the $1 slot. And we will mark off, get my pen here, let's mark off the dollar and the 17. And when I get this one finished, I'm used, this is what I'm doing with my no spend money. And when I get this one finished, it will be $300. Okay, we'll put that one away. Now I'm going to get out a new card. For May, I thought I already had one fixed for May. Oh well, let's write May on it. Okay, and now we're going to color in for the first, the fourth, and the fifth, and put in three more dollars. Color in these little wallets. I need to have a 24 day month of no spend so that I can put fill in that uh, little 24 envelope in that little booklet. <laughs> okay, three more dollars. And then this goes into our no spend envelope. We're starting a new month. <clears throat> okay, and before we do our Tiny Tuesdays, I want to do Monday's Little Flower. From This is the little challenge that Donna Powered by Creativity gave us to do a dollar a day in May. <clears throat> so let's... Oh, it's too close to that color. Um... Let's just do this one. Uh, 
And so we've taken on the challenge and we're just going to put a dollar a day in here for the month of May. I don't know if she wants it to be just, right now it's just for May, but I don't know if she will continue it or not. We'll see. I'm almost getting too many challenges that my purse can handle. <laughs> More than my purse can handle. Okay, so we're going to put in a dollar. So now we have six dollars in here. Okay, now we are going to do tiny savings. And this one is from the modern, my modern homestead. And we started working on it a couple of weeks ago, and I just love these little tiny challenges. And what we do is we just kind of shuffle them up. Last week I pulled out too many. I thought I'd grab six and I'd grab more, but we could only do six. Okay, I'm going to turn them over. And I'm just going to grab six. There's one, two, three four, five, and six. Okay, now we'll put these others away. I'll just lay them right there for a second. And let's see which ones we've got. Okay, this is a new one. You don't need to be an expert to be something great. Good things take time. Take a moment to breathe. Grateful every day. Never give up. And I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. All right. So let's do... Uh, we'll do this color for the hand. And we're going to put a dollar in for each one of these. In the clock, I think we did the last clock in yellow. We'll just stay with yellow on this one. And then climbing up that mountain. <clears throat> Sometimes we feel like everyday life is like climbing up a mountain, isn't it? Well, what in the world happened to that? Look. Well, I'll have to choose a different brown. I just used that one on the wallet. Okay. Color in our little man. All right, and then flower. I may not grab the same pink, you guys, because I've got so many pinks and they're all different. Well, I'm not going to do that, do the same anyway. Let's do a blue flower. What it says is true, isn't it? We need to take a moment to breathe. Okay, and then, you know, these two are kind of alike. This one says you don't need to be an expert to do something great. Well, the hands are different, though. And this one says grateful every day in their praying hands. And that is so, so true. One thing that we need to make sure that we do is when we do say our prayers to be thankful for the blessings we have got because sometimes we get down and we think 
that things are so bad, but you know, really, when if you stop and think about it, we have it so good compared to a lot of people, and that's what I try to remember. When I have troubles and I think, oh gosh, you know, why is this happening? You know, sometimes guys will say, why does everything happen to us? Well, it doesn't. There's a lot of people that have a lot more troubles than we do, and I send out prayers for those people. We just need to be thankful for what we do have. Okay. So we're going to put $6 in here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's see what we have. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 dollars already. Great. Okay, we'll put these all back together and put them away. Back in our little bag. <clears throat> put them back in here. I just love those that she did those things for us. Okay, and I've got one more to do before we do our minis, actually. We have got to put our likes in. And we're going to be finishing a row today. And then I will be pulling that money out to use other places. Okay, we're putting in $13 today. For those of you that don't know, ever how many likes I get in the on um, in the Monday videos, I do ten cents a like, and then I do a row. Last time I did two rows, but this time I'm going to stop it at one, and uh, then I use that money other places. So each time you hit that like button, button you're forcing me to save a little bit of money. Even if it is just a dime. But lay add up. $13 this week. Okay, there's. We put in my 13. Okay, so let's see what we've got now. We have five. Uh oh. Let me get these tens out of the way. Okay, now. We have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86 dollars. So let's write that amount down right here. And then we will start a new row next week. And we're going to see at the very end how much we had for this whole card. So let's go ahead and put this money back in the envelope for now. And I appreciate you guys hitting the likes because, like I said, for every like, it's 10 cents. And every time you hit a like, I have to save that 10 cents. So I appreciate it. Okay, now we're going on to our Monday minis. We put these pins away and out of my way. Okay, the first one that we have, we're going to lay our money here move this out of the way so we have more room so everybody can see because i kind of goofed on my sunday playing with friends video yesterday i didn't realize my camera was low and until i got ready to edit the video and i couldn't go back and and redo it because i had uh, already colored my gnome in <laughs> so i just did it the best best that i could but i'm gonna try to be more careful about that from now on and make sure before I sit down, that my camera is angled right. Okay, so let's lay these out, and then I'll tell you who they're from, and then we will do our thing. There's a possibility we might finish two of them today. We'll see. Okay, I hope that you can see those. Let's move them up just a little bit. Okay, this one is from Living on a Tiny Budget, and I've designated that one from a business binder. This one is from D Plans and Budgets, 
and I've designated that one for firewood for our fireplace and this one is from Chatty Kathy budgets and she is this one is for some household items this one is from uh, Dragonfly Saves and I've designated that one to do some shopping this one is from Simply Living Saves <clears throat> and I'm hoping we might finish this one today and it's for some new clothes this one is for Christmas, obviously, and it is from Frugality is Life. <clears throat> so let's, I'm just going to let you guys take my word for it that this is $50. I'm not going to recount this. Okay, let's see who gets what and see if we get to finish any today. I think it's possible we could finish three, but I don't think so. I think we might finish two. <clears throat> so let's do our dice. Okay, five gets two. Whoops. Five gets two. Three gets two. Two gets two. Four gets two. Five gets two. Six gets two. Five gets two. One gets two. One gets two. Five gets two. One gets two. Two gets two. Three gets two. Five gets two. Four gets two. Three gets two. Three gets two. Five gets two. Three gets two. Six gets two. Six gets two. Six gets two. Six gets two. My goodness. Six gets the last two. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we will start with number six. Let's count our money. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> okay, so we can do six, mark off six of these. Get my red pen out. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So next week, I think we'll be able to finish this one. <clears throat> like I said, this one is designated for Christmas. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Great. Okay, this one I think we have finished. Let's see. <clears throat> we needed six dollars to finish. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, we just needed six to finish this one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's set this money aside. Set this money here, and let's color in these last three flowers. <clears throat> Hope you guys had a good weekend. We did some house cleaning, which I've been wanting to do. I did a deep clean in my kitchen. <clears throat> I still need to clean out my refrigerator. The you know not clean out it. I just it just needs everything taken out and my refrigerator cleaned good. I need to do that. But I did clean in there and and God, he vacuumed and mopped and stuff for me and I need to do some more. I told him I'd hit the bedrooms maybe this week, maybe one a day or something. Not going to kill myself on it. We're the only two that lives here, really. <laughs> but you still want to have a clean house, don't you? Okay, let's see how much we have. Okay, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And this one is going for new clothes. That would be a good start on some vacation clothes. We're still trying to decide when we're going on vacation because I would planned on going maybe right after school was out. But I kept asking my daughter, you know, about when was the best time to come and what, what well, not the best time to come, but what, when was, what was their schedule? Well, Alex is going to be going to driving school sometime in June, the last couple of weeks in June, I think. Then she's got two weeks of rowing camp and <clears throat> I want to go when she's not doing anything. And then Amy said that her and Alex might fly home the first part of June for a week or week or so. And, uh, so that means we really couldn't go down there then. But I was talking to Guy this morning that it might be nice to um, let them fly home and then us drive them back. Of course, that would put us there when she's going to driving school. Or if it would be better for us just to wait and maybe go the first part of August. Of course, then she's going to be going back to school while we're there. So I don't know. We're trying to decide. Or if maybe it'd be better for us just to go do some little vacation on our own and wait and go. We're planning on going there and spending two or three weeks at Christmas and maybe just wait and do that. I don't know. It gets harder as the kids have gotten older because their schedules don't mesh and stuff. So anyway, we'll see. But I just keep saving for it anyway. Okay, we are going to ring the bell on this one. And let's put our dollar in our ding ding envelope. Okay, and let me get my big fat, well it's not so fat now because I took all that out. <clears throat> this is my ones that I still need to do my <clears throat> buck binders with. <clears throat> and this is all that real estate money that I could not get into the my uh, envelope in my uh, sinking fund binder. I'm taking that to the bank to condense it down. But anyway, this is going in here along with this $100 challenge from Sarah on a Budget and the $75 challenge that I finished from Donna Power for Creativity. So we will set that right over here. Maybe we'll get to add to it, you reckon? Let's get out another challenge. Let's do this one from this one was another freebie from Frugality is Life and See This Budgeting Journey. They um, did a collab a while back and gave these as a freebie. And uh, I just love them. I did the uh, winter one already. So now we're going to do this spring one. And let's, oh, I need to see how much we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can color in four. And I'm just going to do these like this instead of trying to color in the whole thing. And this one is for travel. You know, I'm going to have to pull this little tab off of here to get it in. And get it in without it being upside down. <laughs> okay. Let's put our money in it and we'll go to the next one. May have to cut that one down just a little bit. Okay, the next one is a new Mother's Day challenge from Dragonfly Saves. And I evidently forgot to mark off the first one last week. And so this week we have one, two, three, four. We can do two more. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six in here. And this one is for shopping. <clears throat> okay, and then this one. I know we didn't finish, but we sure have added to it. This is Hello Spring from Chatty Kathy Budgets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we can color in five of them. <clears throat> so 
one. Two. Three. Four and five. Okay, and this one is for household items. <clears throat> I want to, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to buy some new kitchen rugs and things like that, and that's what I've designated this for. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 dollars. Okay. And then this one is from D Plans and Budgets. And we've got one, two, three, four. So let's mark off two of the twos. We'll get this one. And this one is for firewood. We use firewood all winter in our fireplace in our family room. And usually we have to buy, this last year we didn't have to buy any because we hit it lucky. A friend of my husband's told me that he had a guy that lives next to him that had a whole bunch of firewood he was wanting rid of if somebody would just haul it off. Well, Guy and I went over one day and we hauled a couple loads and then Guy went with, Gary went with him one day and, hired, and hauled a big load. And then the guy came up here with his truck and trailer and hauled the rest of it for us. We had winter, wood all winter from him. 10 11 12 13 14 dollars in here but it's almost gone so we will have to buy firewood this year for sure <clears throat> we just hit it lucky last year okay let's see did we finish this one i don't know one two three four five six we sure have let's see two three four six we did it exactly great So let's just let's just do these right here like this so that it doesn't take up so much time me coloring today. When I know this one is coming out anyway. Well they hit it lucky, exactly six. <clears throat> so let's see how much we have now. And this one is going into my business binder. Most likely it'll go for postage and shipping. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. And that's good. When I sell anything on Etsy, if it's a bigger package or something with dice in it, I just do the shipping through Etsy. I don't know why I put that back in there. But um, if... And everything I mail in the smaller envelopes, I pay for myself at the post office. So this money will come in good for that. So we are going to clip that, ring that bell, add another dollar into our ding ding envelope. If I can get it open, it's a little stiffer since I laminated it. Okay, and now let's add another one in there. Another challenge. You know, I might go ahead. I designated this one for gardening, and I might go ahead and do it. And that'll be the last one of my, for gardening for this year. And this one is uh, this one is for my girl beauty, and I'm gonna have to cut this one just a little bit. We'll just leave it like that until I, I can get it cut. Anyway, let's add this one to our envelope. So that's four challenges now that we have finished in the month of May, which is great. Hope we can keep it going. I know I can't finish one or two challenges every time we do a video, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? But anyway, that's all we have for today. Tomorrow will be Scratching Tuesday, and uh, I hope that you'll join me. And I have another little something special to show you tomorrow, too. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Do not forget to check out the giveaway video 
<clears throat> that was in yesterday on, on yesterday, you don't know. You might have been a winner, so you need to check it out. And until tomorrow, remember, I love you. Thank you.